Okay, so I want to answer today, why do you need an ultrasound exam? A lot of people ask us about that because people come here with the ultrasound exam. And after that, based on our exam, we, of course, suggest different type of treatments. So I want to explain why ultrasound is superior to other diagnostic methods and why we believe so. So, and what is exactly musculoskeletal exam? Because that's our specialty, not just ultrasound, you know, to find a baby or look at the organs, but we specialize in musculoskeletal exam. So musculoskeletal system consists of bone, muscles, cartilage, tendon, ligaments, and all the connective tissue. So it's all the skeletal tissue and all the connective tissue that connect the bones together. So joints and everything like that. So what's not included? We don't do organ ultrasound exam, not like a pelvic floor ultrasound exam. And we, of course, don't look at the brain and stuff like that. So and this is an example how other uh, diagnostic methods look like. So like you see x-ray. X-ray is like a picture of your bones. So like you see on this first photo, you, don't, you cannot really see any ligaments. You cannot see muscles. You cannot see nerves. X-ray is really good to look at the back alignment and see how the bones align and also how the bones are connected. So really nice picture of the joint spaces. Then we have MRI. MRI is definitely way more complicated and more interesting image because MRI uh, looks deeper into ligaments, tendons, just like ultrasound. So it's very, very deep and it's like taking pictures of different layers of your tissue. So it's still a picture, you know, you go to MRI machine, you go on this inside this big, like kind of like a coffin looking machine and uh, they slide you in, you don't move. So it's very, very static. And then we have a CT, uh, computer tomography, CT scan. So CT scan, it's just like an x-ray. It uses x-ray energy, but it uses also computer to make it more interesting, like make it more three-dimensional. So you can see more like which bones are farther, which bones are closer. So it's kind of like a colored cartoon a version of the x-ray. And what's ultrasound exam? Well, like, like you see, ultrasound has like nothing. It's not even similar to other diagnostic tools because you can see only like a credit card size of the tissue under the probe. So it's way, way harder to, to read. That's, that's what makes ultrasound so superior because you can really look um, in the tissue in such a details, but you really need to have an expert, you know, to really know how to read that. Like not everybody knows how to read ultrasound. And unfortunately, when you finish medical school, you don't know how to read ultrasound unless you really specialize in musculoskeletal radiology imaging. So it's really hard to find, find specialists that know how to read it. I'm still learning. For me, ultrasound, it's really, really complex, really hard to learn. It requires years and years of practice to look in different tissue, comparing it. It's very, very hard work to become proficient in it. So this is like a, a comparison x-ray, MRI, CT scan, ultrasound examples, because this is like number one question we always get from uh, our patients. Like, why do I need ultrasound exam when I have an x-ray? So, well, compared to x-ray, like you need it because x-ray only will tell us if you have a broken bone. You won't tell us if you have a broken um, uh, tissues, tendons, ligaments, soft tissue, anything like that. MRI is very comparable to ultrasound exam because it shows us also ligament, also tendons, also in a sp uh, spinal cord problems, also in a uh, condition affecting soft tissue. However, MRI is an image and ultrasound exam, it's a video. So it's more static, the MRI, why uh, ultrasound is in a movement. We can move the tissue while we're looking at it. CT scan, like I said before, it's usually to ch check for like very complex fractures, especially fractures like on like small bones, like a hand bones, wrist, uh, stuff like that to see deeper if there are any uh, bone chipping, if there are any fractures. Sometimes you can do CT scan with the contrast and that will give us a little bit more idea about the vessels and stuff like that. But it's definitely not good for diagnosis of any like musculoskeletal condition if it comes to tendons, ligaments, soft tissues. And ultrasound exam, similar to MRI, you can look at the soft tissue, tendons, ligament, muscle, nerve fascia, fluid accumulation in your uh, joint. However, ultrasound, it's like a video compared to MRI. It's a series of pictures, series of images.
So this is another comparison if it comes to energy. So what energy X-ray uses? So X-ray uses electromagnetic radiation. So there's like radiation interaction with high energy electrons with matter, like which is like your tissues. MRI, however, uses very powerful magnets and radio waves to see the tissue. CT scan is like I said, like an X-ray, but then it's kind of colored and uh, spin up and made like more three dimensional using computer technology. And ultrasound uses sound waves. So what are the health concerns? Because that's also an issue. So there are always some safety concerns with other diagnostic tools compared to ultrasound. For example, x-ray makes you exposed to ionizing radiation, which it cannot be used for pregnant women uh, unless there's emergency situation. Of course, they have to do x-ray. The same is with MRI because of their strong magnetic field and radio waves exposure. It's usually not advised to use for pregnant women, especially in the first trimester, but also for any people with any metallic implants and uh, metallic devices in their body. Also, if the MRI uses contrast, the contrast contain gadolinium, which is heavy metal. So it's basically injecting very heavy metal in your body that has to be then of course, clear out somehow, and it can affect your kidneys and liver. And plus, a lot of heavy metals hide in a bone, so a lot of people are already exposed to heavy metals, and they have to go on a detox protocol and all of that. So MRI uh, with contrast can additionally expose you to some heavy metals. CT scan, the same like X-ray, expose you to ionizing radiation. There's two CT scans type of dyes you can use if it's used with contrast. You can use it iodine-based, that's usually for uh, to see abdomen, to see pelvis, chest, blood vessels. And you can also use barium-based contrast. And that usually it's used for barium swallow studies. When people swallow barium and they do a bunch of x-ray pictures of how they swallow it to see if there's a swallowing issue. So because of that, the barium or iodine can go to uh, your uh, liver, be metabolized in your liver and excreted for your kidney and can cause for some people kidney damage. And also some people have really bad allergic reaction if they already have an allergy to iodine. So it's also not recommended to use for pregnant women, only in emergency situations, of course. An ultrasound exam uses sound waves. So it's not ionizing. They don't carry energy that um, cause an ionization of atoms or molecules in our own tissue. So it does not interact with our tissue. That's why it's very safe to use it for pregnant women and anybody else, of course. And the gel that it's used, it's a water-based ultrasound gel. Like I've never met a person yet allergic to ultrasound gel, but who knows, there might be like uh, one of the million that could be allergic to ultrasound gel. There are different options. So you can use surgical soap and stuff like that. An average cost. So I Google it. Uh, there were so many different, you know, pricing on different websites. I decided to use average cost in US for all those exams per chat GPT. So x-ray costs between 100 to 1000. And that's average. Of course, if you need to have extra for your whole body, that might be like a couple thousand dollars. MRI without contrast ranges between 400 to 3,500. With contrast, however, between 600 to even $5,000 for MRI. CT scan without contrast between 500 to 3,000. With contrast, almost the same as the MRI, it's between 600 to $5,000. And ultrasound on average, it's between 200 and 1,000, depends uh, how many parts of the body and also, you know, the state you live in and all of that. And those are all prices if you pay cash, if you don't have insurance, of course. So why ultrasound exam gives us more? First of all, it's the dynamic evaluation, which means it's moving. Like you see the probe, it's constantly moving. We can look at the tissue different, different angles. We can ask a patient to start moving their muscles and ligaments and look at the response to this specific maneuver. So we can exactly see if tissues are like aligning the right way. If the fascia that surrounds the muscles, if the fascia is nicely gliding when, when the muscles are constructing or there's something pulling on the nerves, we also can see if there's anything catching. So we can check for, you can check for impingement syndrome, for example, because it's like a constant movement on a tissue. So that's why I think uh, ultrasound is uh, superior. Another thing, it's a real-time imaging. So if there's like emergency and you cannot walk and your knee is swollen, you normally will have to go to doctor. Your doctor will send you to orthopedic and orthopedic will send you to 
to MRI or other scans. And then after that, all those scans are sent to radiologists and radiologists evaluates them without reading your medical history, without knowing you as a patient, because it doesn't have to, it's just like reads images and gives that written report to your back to your doctor. And then your doctor reads the written report to you and then uh, develop the treatment plan and then um, care for you. However, like with ultrasound, you go there and you have a real-time imaging with the provider. So one-to-one. So right away, like after 15, 20 minutes, you know what's your diagnosis. And if there is any type of um, emergency that has to be done, it's like immediate. You don't have to wait for a couple of people, you know, go to different places and have an image done and read. It's like right away you can go and um, do the treatment. Also, ultrasound let us do a treatment at the same time so we can look exactly how the needle goes to your tissue, where's the tear, that reaches the tear. So it really improves accuracy accuracy and precision. And because of that, it can reduce some complication and enhance your comfort uh, compared to any type of blind, blind injections. Other thing why ultrasound gives us a little bit more information because it has a really good spatial resolution. So like I said, when you put ultrasound on your body, you can see exactly like credit card, like very thin layer of your tissue deep there. So because of that, you by moving it gently, you can uh, assess very, very tiny little tears or small little joints. You can even see like nerve entrapments and a tendon abnormalities and all of that and like tissue masses as well. Another thing, it's like point of care, your healthcare provider can uh, perform immediate assessment. Like I said, you right away get a feedback, you right away get the decision about what's going on, and it's very beneficial in an emergency situation. Another thing, it's like provider-patient image interpretation. So once provider put the probe on you and check your tissue, you can tell them like, oh, this is exactly what hurts. You know, this is exactly what, when I do this movement. So it's like... Provider is getting constant feedback from a patient. So it's a discussion. It's not just like going somewhere, you know, getting a test done and then getting like just written reports. You can really tell the patient person that it's doing your exam exactly which uh, dynamic maneuvers hurt and that can correlate with the image finding. And another thing is patient uh, engagement and education. You know, you, have, you are constantly engaging with your provider that does ultrasound exam for you. You can ask them specific questions and your specific concern. So just like example, like this is very small joint with it first, uh, carpal metacarpal joint. So it's a tiny little joint, but you can see exactly where the needle is going to the tiny joint. And so the solution regenerative solutions injected right in a small tiny tear that normally wouldn't be seen on other diagnostic images plus you know if you do it without ultrasound like what's the chances that you actually will get with the needle to that tiny little joint very low you know with blind injections so that's an example of like a fine artwork you can do with ultrasound exam this is like different like my arms and stuff but level funeral i was on like a Challenge, okay. Unless you are using, unless you're using ultrasound, it's really um, hard to get exactly to the little space between the bones to get into the femoral joint. This is an example of hip injections, the same labrum, right? Right in the hip labrum. I mean, the Mars. Yeah, there's a lot of conversation going on like that. Like, what are they? A patient's so talking, he doesn't even feel anything, which is perfect, you know, and I'm doing my work. So you're doing stuff to remove heavy things in the body. Uh-huh. And okay, this is so a paracolumbar fascia, so you can really see a fascia, two, and then you three. can inject exactly in the fascia to nicely separate the stickiness, because this is when your nerves are running. So once you inject solution and separate that fascia from each other, and your nerves can run freely, so it's really good for nerve entrapment. It's called hydrodissection. That's like my favorite, a trachylumbar fascia, because everybody always have pain there and it's so tight, you know, especially yeah, lower back. I just want to let you know about our March special. So normally ultrasound exam here, it's for $300 for area. So it will be like the whole joint. It's considered one area. In March, we have a special. It's $99 for musculoskeletal exam. After the exam, we give you, like we tell you right away the report, what's going on with you. So you right away can make notes. We also make notes for you. We can print that out after appointment. 
And based on those diagnoses, we can recommend different treatment or regenerative solution to be injected right after the appointment. And all the injections are ultrasound guided, of course, really high precision and accuracy. So really, it's such a great deal. You really want to use that special, you know, after that, the price goes back to $300. We really want to bring more people in to help them at least to find out what's going on because um, other diagnostic tools very often omit small little tears why ultrasound exam can give you really good resolution of what's going on and also everything looks good and it's nerve entrapment a lot of doctors will tell you there's absolutely nothing going on wrong with you like i understand why you have so much pain because the other diagnostic tool cannot really see that nerve entrapment so really cool special and yeah if you want to schedule an appointment just call joe wellness partners thank you for listening